Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. We are almost done with our character. She is looking pretty good. She's already kind of binded. She's got uh, hand control. She's got head control. She's got all sorts of stuff. She's basically ready except for this tiny little problem. Whoop. That kind of is creepy. So I got to fix that. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's select these two objects. I'm going to shift select that joint and I'm just going to hit parent P. So what happens is that now the eyes actually move with the character. That's kind of creepy. Uh, I obviously can't go too far. So let me undo that. And let me check to see if it's got some sort of, looks like it's got some history. Let's freeze the transformation, delete the history, center the pivot of these two. I'm going to check on the hair. Okay, so we'll grab the hair. Let's grab the hair. So again, I'm just selecting the hair then selecting the joint, pressing P. And so now wherever that joint goes, the head goes. So now I can turn around and you'll see that the hair is, um, is falling along. Now, don't forget about the head. The face is so crazy, but uh, we're going to fix that in a second. That's painting weights. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the eye. Select the two eyes, select the joints and hit the letter P. So now they're going to be falling along. Now, this looks a little weird, but that's because, again, the face needs to be painted. But the good news is, is that very quickly we now have the character now moves around. So if I move any of this, it's going to go with it, which is great. All right, the world control. Let's go ahead and create a uh, circle. Now, theoretically, this character should be in the center. <laughs> Let's call this, uh, her name is Calico. So Calico world control. All right, uh, let's just work with what we have and move this world control right here in the center. And again, we always want to center the pivot, delete the history, freeze the transformations. So the point of this control is that uh, when we grab this, we should be able to move the character anywhere we want. Let me grab just the controls, middle mouse and drag it into Calico world control. So what that does is that wherever, <laughs> I haven't done the foot, I got to fix that. Uh, wherever this character goes, the objects are going to go with it. Uh, the only issue is the scale. Scaling's not going to work at this time. So now she's got a world control uh, that I can actually move her and rotate her if I want to. But I really got to fix that foot in a second. Let's organize this a little bit because it's a little messy. So we've got a couple of interesting things going on here. I'm going to delete these because I don't think I need them. At the end, the only thing I really need is the mesh, the controls, and the joints. That's really all I need. So the sky dome is just there for the sake of rendering. Um, there is a group here that's got the mesh. I'm going to call this the body geo. Uh, this is her face, so I'm going to call her the face geo. And this is going to be the calico uh, geo group. There's a, oh, this is, must be the base. So I'm going to put the base here too. Uh, missing her hair, her hair and everything like that's actually in the rig. So we're going to leave those there. Let's see. It's got a animation. So I'm going to delete, break the connection and the rest. I'm pretty sure I don't need. So I'm going to grab these delete. So at the end, I have a group of geometry. I've got the sky dome. I've got the root joint. I've got the IK handles um of the leg i've got the foot control and then i've got the world so that's actually really good because i don't want too much stuff in this environment and then i've got a bunch of other stuff here so i'm gonna delete all of these if i can uh delete layers because right now this should be just a geometry all right i will be right back as i do the foot and in a few seconds, I'm done. I'm just kidding. I actually uh, took a little bit, but um, let's go ahead and see just to show you. I went ahead and did the controls with the foot roll. So I got this working out really well. And then I got my toe. Cute. She's coming together. Well, let me call this left foot group. And this one is foot, right foot. Let me just make sure everything's labeled the same control. Group. doesn't matter okay as long as um, it makes sense cool all right so now we have this character now she's moving around normally I can actually make her walk on the wall if I wanted to 
Um, she's actually looking really good. If I, so she can actually sit now. She can dance if she wants to. She's got some shoulder stuff going on. She can now rotate her arms. There's a couple of weird things going on when it comes to the uh, rotation or the painted weights. That's okay. We can grab this and ah, so scary, but it works. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna clean up my outliner because I have a calico group. I'm gonna grab the joints and just do a control G, which is gonna be called my joints group. And I'm actually gonna grab all of the um, the group controls and everything, group those, and this is going to be called rig group. And of course we have our geometry group here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call this geo group. Then I'm gonna select both of these, group these, and this is gonna be called calico all. And because I don't want anybody to grab this, I'm going to select that and just make sure that I lock and hide selected the calico group. And the geo group, people shouldn't really touch. So I'm going to do another group, and this one's called do not touch. Right? Because I really don't want them to touch anything. Right click, uh, lock and hide selected. And then we have our rig. So I'm going to leave as is, so hopefully they don't touch anything. But here we go, we're getting there. Let's go ahead and save as. Cool. Over here we have a geometry layer. We need a controllers layer. And we, we need to start hiding things. So for example, these IK handles and stuff like that. Let's open up the rig. We actually shouldn't be seeing any of these, so let's go ahead and hide these. Control H. The joint groups as well, we don't really need to see that. We actually just want to see the controller. So this is actually really nice. So let's grab all the controllers and we're going to create a layer. And this one's going to be called Calico Controllers. And then A L L Y R for that. Oops. Uh, it doesn't like um, spaces, of course. Usually it adds it for me automatically, but I guess not in the layers. Cool. So why did I do that? Well, ah. Eh. Uh, let's see, where did her hair go? They're in the joints. All right, so shift H that instead. And probably what I should be doing, you select this and click F there, there. Um, let's label these guys. This is top hair geo. This is sideburn, geo, um, ponytail, geo. It's going to be the left eye, geo, and her right eye, geo. Okay. Now, I do want to hide the joints. I mean, Animators could actually just go here to joints and just hide the joints, which I'm probably just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, but sometimes you just you might want to constrain the hair, but this should be just fine. What happens if I freeze the transformation? It doesn't look like it broke anything. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, it looks okay. All right, nice. Nice and organized. i going to change the color here. Mm, something cute, maybe pink. Ah, cool. Da, 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 da. Hmm. All right, um, let's talk about eyes really fast. So I do want to have some some control over the eyes. That's one last rig we got to do. Uh, okay, let's grab circles. I'm going to rotate this bud, this little guy. Push it forward. I'm gonna, well, actually, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one for the left eye. Duplicate that one. One for the right eye. Um, sure they're around the same place. 
Then I'm going to freeze the transformations, all that stuff. Then I'm going to duplicate this. And just for fun, I'm going to, oops, going to scale this one down a little bit so it looks like eyes and maybe grab these two and scale them up, something like that. Maybe just a little bit further back. So go ahead and freeze everything, delete the history, center the pivot, all that stuff. This is going to be the eye control. This one's going to be the R eye control, which is the right eye control. And this one's going to be the left eye control. Cool. And what we're going to do is uh, parent these two to the eye control. So hit P. Let me open this up. Just make sure, just double check to make sure that the left and the right are actually independent of each other. And then the eye control controls both of them. And we're going to be using a new constraint that we haven't tried yet, which is called the aim constraint. So if I select the controller, then I shift select the eye. So in this case, and maybe I'm going to delete the history, freeze the transformations here. Uh, let me get that. Uh, I'm going to select the controller, shift select the eye, and under constraint, I'm going to do aim. I always like to say maintain offsets on, click add. And what happens is that now I have control over the eye which is great. So let's grab the eye, shift select the control. I'm going to do G just because, you know, I already did the last command. And then when I select this guy, it's going to move. Whoops, that didn't work. Let's, let's try that again. Select uh, the main, con select the control, then the eye, and then go to constraint aim, and then select this, and then you've got control over the eye, which is great because now when I grab this one, this is going to move as well. Now, where do we where do we place this? Do we place this with the head? Well, actually, I want that to move the head independently of the eyes, so I'm going to leave that where it is. I'm actually going to parent the controls to the world control. So I can select this, select the world control, click the letter P, and so that means that when I move this, the eyes will go, but uh, if I want to move anything else, for example, the body, I can actually... Ah, yeah, this is why I don't like translate because it's freaky. Um, might want to lock that. I'm thinking about locking, hiding it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll mess around with it. So anyway, so I can actually rotate this and then the eyes just kind of follow along. So that gives me a little bit more control when it comes to the animation. And just like before, let's select the, the enable the override here. Let's grab blue. And then let's grab red. There we go. And I'm not convinced with these colors. I think I want to have some fun with this color. It's too much blue. Maybe, I don't know. Just want to make sure you can see it. So why did I create these layers? Well, the first one is um, the calico controls. I can actually just hide the controls. So if I wanted to do a play blast, that would be ready to go. Um, the geo, usually you don't touch it, so we might want to replace this with just do not touch layer. Do not touch people. <laughs> that doesn't tell the animators not to touch. I don't know what will. Okay. Um, let's see. We got the neck. That's looking good. We got the head. We got the eye control, which is bugging me. Let's change it to a different color. Maybe yellow. Is it too crazy to do yellow? At least you can see it. Anyway, feel free. Artist choice. So, yeah, we accomplished a pretty good amount today. We've done the head, or we did the eyes. We uh, made sure the world control works. We've got the uh, eyes working. Um, the next part is going to be uh, scale global. So in case we need to scale the character, how do we whoa, fix that? And then we can talk about um, how to fix this interesting little issue, which is a little creepy and go from there. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Um, I know it was a lot of information, but as always, you just have to keep practicing and you will get, uh, you will understand it and then it will be easy. 
So just keep practicing, have fun with it. Let me know if you guys have any questions or have any comments by leaving it below. And uh, please to subscribe to my channel and also share, share my videos if you think that this could help one of your friends. And of course, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where I have free eBooks, free tutorials, uh, video trainings, and of course, downloads just for you. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. Thank you so much for being part of this process. We're going to start uh, tweaking our character here until she is done. So I will see you in the next tutorial. So keep creating and see you next time.